Among the beautiful Greek islands, there is one in particular, Euboa, which hides a secret, one of the most enigmatic mysteries to be found anywhere within the Mediterranean. Built into the landscape of the island, 25 ancient yet masterfully built and geologically camouflaged structures, which are known as Dracospita, or the Dragon Houses, still found dotting the island's landscape. Often built using enormous multi-ton limestone blocks, thus making their explanation very difficult to explain, and also quite possibly multiple remnants of a now lost but once technologically and capably advanced civilization, one which far predated that of our own well-known, well-studied ancestors. The true age, origin, or indeed past function of these mysteriously, curiously named dragon houses remains a complete mystery. Now found in varying degrees of decay, Yet the substantial erosion present in some areas of some of the dragon houses is indicative of a civilization far predating any known or, more specifically, academically permitted groups as having once been responsible. Researchers working for ancient code have posited that many of the surviving dragon houses were built using, quote, cyclopean masonry, and after exploring the curious structures ourselves, we seem to concur with this opinion. Yet the mystery as to why these buildings were made in the first place, the motivation for their curious creation, still remains. According to said research, the locals dubbed the structures dragon houses, this because local legend telling of attributes in which their creators possessed they were supposedly bestowed with superhuman powers. This conclusion, however, is disagreed with, and rather ironically, using the exact same feature which proved these buildings are inexplicable, is now argued as having been inspired by later rediscoverers due to the size of the stone blocks used in the building process, something modern academia, due to a lack of an ability to explain said anomaly, would simply ignore this aspect during their own explorations of the site. It seems that although those funded to provide the answers, when found lacking, are more than happy to continue to provide a status quo, often in blatant denial of facts in front of us all. A tale of events which does not ruffle the feathers of those who fund said research. Thus, such practices can be looked upon as job security, displays of allegiance to those who pull the strings of said institution. Thus, although capable, funded individuals have a reoccurring habit of overlooking the same said features over and over again. However, those with other, often self-funded motivations, or indeed a set of sturdy foundational ethics, then those with a keen eye for facts can always expose that which is ignored by others with an agenda. These valiant pioneers, these modern-day Indiana Jones, have an opportunity to approach that which has not yet been explained, with curiosity and a hunger for the truth, which could make them the person who alters the world around them, and ultimately makes a real difference to the world around you. Wikipedia states, dragons can not only mean a reptilian fire-breathing giant lizard, but also man, those who possess superhuman powers. Furthermore, according to Wikipedia, there is no accepted theory about the identity of the builders, nor an agreed estimation on their dating. No mention is identified in classical texts, and the first account so far known to have been cited dates from the 18th century, done by the British geologist-traveler writer John Hawkins. The first detailed account, after Hawkins, was by German archaeologist H. N. Ulrichs, written in 1842. The French classical scholar Jules Girard visited Euboa and described the Ochi dragon houses in detail. In 2010, Swiss archaeologist Carl Reber successfully tracked down all to-date reported buildings, subsequently published a report upon the completion of his research. Yet, alas, any explanation as to their original purpose, or indeed true age, was predictably lacking from the report. Thus, the site is currently crying. Capable antiquarians are desperately needed to explore and unravel the mysterious dragon houses of Greece. Houses we find highly compelling. The megalithic marvels of lore, very rarely studied, academically explored, or publicized, 
Yet regardless of this, remains one of the most curious and intriguing ruins of the Neolith Menhir age. Not only still in existence, but with many Menhir still erect, still standing tall across the landscape to this day, a legacy left to us by a now lost civilization. A collection of curious, kooky, and oftentimes mischievously graffitied prehistoric menhirs. The menhirs were often elaborately carved, and due to the unexplainable scale of some of the stones, cut, quarried, and eventually raised along the valley, it is clearly an example of an inexplicable ruin, an ancient relic left to us, once created using unknown technologies at an unknown time within history. A now lost, yet once highly advanced ancestor. Impossible for the current academically claimed culture, which is clearly a fallacy within modern paradigm. Some of the inexplicably huge stones incorporated into these sites are now being found scattering our planet. Like that of the Plain of Jars located in Laos, an unusual, enigmatic site we have also covered in the past possesses stonework from megalithic blocks of inexplicable sizes. These gigantic stone carvings, menhirs and jars, some still in astonishing conditions, are a testament to what our lost ancestors were once capable of, and due to the immense size of the stones they could control, have successfully left their mark far into an unknown future, our present. The channel feels a duty clearly as a far less capable civilization, that we do not withhold the evidence for their existence, which has been a great disservice to those who deserve the truth. Multi-ton menhirs are located all across the Bada Valley, but not just the Bada Valley. Menhirs can be found across the globe, located in many countries, even in New Zealand in Rodney County. The erosion of many of the world's menhirs stonework, we feel, is indicative of incredible aging, and as such, possibly from the same era as the Bada Valley's mysterious menhirs. Yet regardless of whoever made these sculptures, there will never be any academically admittance to the evidence that these particular stone workings are found all over the planet. Yet regardless of anyone's opinions regarding their past use, a function undertaken at a time so long ago, we may never know the true purpose of what our distant ancestors may have been trying to tell us all those millennia ago, only time will tell. The menhirs and the hinges found worldwide, many now widely known about, have blown a few holes into the hull of the sinking ship that is academic paradigm. The fact that these menhirs are no less common and no less scattered across the globe merely lays another nail in the coffin for the timelines academia put forward for the migrations of man, and even our beginnings, for to have these unusual megaliths everywhere, their builders must have been everywhere too. A highly advanced, highly capable, once world-going ancient civilization an extremely long time ago. One which we find highly compelling.